Folks, we're now approaching the most impressive building in Washington, the Capitol, symbol of the federal government. Up on top of the cast iron dome is the Statue of Freedom, looking out over the city. On your right now, the oldest building in the city, the White House. Moving around Washington, you get to realize that the federal government is a tremendous business. Nothing like it anywhere. As office buildings of the government of the United States, I guess the architects meant them to look permanent, strong, and dignified. I think they got their effect. the Department of Justice on our way to the statue of a man who has always seemed one of the most interesting heroes in American history. Nathan Hale, who before he was executed by the British in 1776, declared, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. Touring the Capitol gives you a feeling of what America's great men were like and what they stood for. Jefferson, calm and determined, the leading author of the Constitution of the United States, a man who believed passionately in democracy. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The exact center of town, the Washington Monument. At the base, it's 55 feet square with walls 15 feet thick. It was the tallest structure to build at the time and was meant to symbolize the lofty ideals of our first president. From the top, you could see the layout of the city. The White House to the north, to the east, in a straight line, the capital. This is one city that was certainly planned. South, the Jefferson Memorial and the Potomac. To the west, the Lincoln Memorial. A copy of the Parthenon in Greece the driver said, but as you approach this memorial, Lincoln seems to be on your mind more than classic architecture. And then, he is suddenly there. And somehow, because the statue goes beyond what you expect, he seems almost alive. Sad, wise, humble, and a quality of greatness that everyone seems to feel here. The quiet is almost like in church.